Coriander, with its vibrant green leaves and citrusy aroma, is a staple in kitchens worldwide. Imagine enjoying fresh coriander all year round, grown right in your home, without any soil. This is now possible with modern techniques like hydroponics and aeroponics. These methods offer a clean, efficient, and rewarding way to grow your favorite herbs, including our beloved coriander. Let's delve into these fascinating techniques and discover the magic of growing coriander without soil. Growing coriander without soil offers a plethora of advantages over traditional methods. Firstly, say goodbye to muddy messes and pesky soil-borne pests. Hydroponics and aeroponics provide a clean and controlled environment for your plants to flourish. Secondly, these methods conserve water by recirculating the nutrient solution, making them environmentally friendly. Finally, since the plants receive optimal nutrient delivery, they experience faster growth rates, resulting in a more abundant and satisfying harvest. Both hydroponics and aeroponics allow for soil-free cultivation, but they differ in their approach. In hydroponics the plant roots are submerged in a nutrient-rich water solution. This method is relatively simple to set up and maintain, making it ideal for beginners. Aeroponics on the other hand takes things up a notch. The plant roots are suspended in the air and periodically misted with a nutrient solution. This method promotes faster growth and higher yields but requires a slightly more complex setup. Before you embark on your soil-free coriander adventure, you'll need to gather a few essential materials. This preparation phase is crucial, as it sets the foundation for a successful and bountiful harvest. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or a complete novice, having the right tools and materials will make the process smoother and more enjoyable. For both hydroponics and aeroponics, you'll need growing containers. These can range from simple plastic tubs for hydroponics to specialized towers for aeroponics. The choice of container can significantly impact the growth and health of your coriander plants. Plastic tubs are often favored for their affordability and ease of use, while aeroponic towers, though more expensive, offer advanced features that can enhance plant growth. Next, you'll need a growing medium. This provides support for the plants and can include materials like coco coir, perlite, or rock wool. Each of these mediums has its own set of advantages. Coco coir, for instance, is known for its excellent water retention and aeration properties, making it a popular choice among hydroponic gardeners. Perlite, on the other hand, is lightweight and provides good drainage, while rock wool cubes are highly effective in retaining moisture and nutrients. Another critical component is the nutrient solution. This provides the plants with all the essential nutrients they need to thrive. The nutrient solution is essentially the lifeblood of your hydroponic or aeroponic system, delivering vital minerals and elements directly to the plant roots. It's important to choose a high-quality nutrient solution to ensure your coriander plants receive a balanced diet. You can buy pre-mixed solutions or make your own. Pre-mixed solutions are convenient and take the guesswork out of the equation, but making your own allows for customization based on the specific needs of your plants. If you choose to mix your own, you'll need to carefully measure and combine various nutrients to create a balanced solution. A pH meter is also essential. This helps you monitor and adjust the pH level of your nutrient solution for optimal nutrient absorption. Maintaining the correct pH level is crucial because it affects the availability of nutrients to the plants. Most plants, including coriander, prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH range, typically between 5.5 and 6.5. For aeroponics, an air pump is essential. This is used to create the misting system that delivers nutrients to the plant roots. The air pump ensures that the nutrient solution is evenly distributed and that the roots receive a constant supply of oxygen, which is vital for healthy growth. The misting system can be adjusted to provide the right amount of moisture and nutrients, creating an optimal environment for your coriander plants. The cost of setting up a hydroponic or aeroponic system can vary depending on the size and complexity you choose. A basic setup might include simple containers and a pre-mixed nutrient solution, while a more advanced system could feature automated pumps, timers, and specialized growing mediums. It's important to consider your budget and the level of involvement you're comfortable with before making a decision. A basic setup can be relatively affordable, while a more elaborate system can require a more significant investment. However, the initial cost should be weighed against the long-term benefits. Investing in a high-quality system can lead to better yields and healthier plants, ultimately saving you money on store-bought herbs and vegetables. However, the long-term benefits of fresh, homegrown coriander coupled with the environmental advantages make it a worthwhile investment for any gardening enthusiast. Growing your own herbs not only ensures a fresh supply of ingredients for your kitchen, but also reduces your carbon footprint by minimizing the need for transportation and packaging. Plus, there's a unique satisfaction that comes from nurturing your plants and watching them thrive. From seed to sprout, the coriander germination process. 
Coriander, also known as cilantro in some parts of the world, is a versatile herb used in various cuisines. Its journey from a tiny seed to a vibrant green plant is fascinating and rewarding. Coriander seeds, those tiny brown spheres full of potential, require a bit of encouragement to awaken from their slumber. These seeds are actually the dried fruits of the coriander plant, and each one contains two seeds inside. To give them the best start, it's essential to prepare them properly. Begin by soaking the seeds in water for 12 to 24 hours. This step is crucial as it helps to soften the hard outer shell of the seeds, making it easier for the young shoots to break through. The water should be at room temperature to avoid shocking the seeds. This softens the outer shell and kickstarts the germination process. You might notice the seeds swelling slightly as they absorb water, a sign that they are getting ready to sprout. Patience is key here, as this initial soaking phase sets the stage for successful germination. Next, place the soaked seeds in a damp paper towel or seed starting mix, ensuring they're kept moist and warm. The ideal temperature for germination is between 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. You can place the paper towel in a plastic bag to retain moisture, or use a seed tray with a clear cover. In a few days, you'll be greeted by tiny green shoots, a testament to the miracle of life unfolding before your very eyes. These delicate sprouts will soon grow into robust plants, ready to be transplanted into your garden or a larger pot. With proper care, your coriander plants will thrive, providing fresh, aromatic leaves for your culinary creations. Hydroponics, setting the stage for soil-free success. Setting up a hydroponic system for your coriander is a straightforward process. First, choose a suitable container and fill it with your chosen growing medium. Next, prepare your nutrient solution according to the instructions on the package or your chosen recipe. Once the seeds have germinated, carefully transplant the seedlings into the growing medium, ensuring the roots are submerged in the nutrient solution. Place your hydroponic system in a well-lit location but avoid direct sunlight, which can scorch the delicate leaves. Aeroponics, taking coriander to new heights. This innovative method of growing plants without soil is revolutionizing the way we cultivate herbs and vegetables. By suspending the plant roots in the air and misting them with a nutrient-rich solution, aeroponics provides an optimal environment for growth. Aeroponics offers a slightly more advanced, yet highly rewarding method for growing coriander. Unlike traditional soil-based gardening, aeroponics allows for better control over the growing conditions, leading to healthier plants and higher yields. This method is particularly beneficial for urban gardeners who have limited space but still want to grow fresh, organic herbs. In this system, the plant roots are suspended in the air and periodically misted with a nutrient solution. This ensures that the roots receive the perfect balance of oxygen and nutrients, which is crucial for the plant's development. The absence of soil also means that there is less risk of soil-borne diseases, making aeroponics a cleaner and more efficient way to grow coriander. This method requires a specialized growing chamber with an air pump and misting nozzles. The air pump ensures that the roots are adequately aerated, while the misting nozzles deliver the nutrient solution directly to the roots. Setting up an aeroponic system might seem daunting at first, but with the right equipment and a bit of patience, it can be a highly rewarding endeavor. Once you've set up your aeroponic system, transplant the germinated coriander seedlings into the designated slots, ensuring the roots hang freely. It's important to handle the seedlings gently to avoid damaging the delicate roots. As the plants grow, you'll notice that they develop faster and healthier compared to traditional soil-grown plants. The misting system will take care of delivering the nutrient solution directly to the roots, promoting vigorous growth and maximizing yield. Regularly check the nutrient solution levels and ensure that the misting nozzles are functioning properly. With consistent care and monitoring, your aeroponic coriander plants will thrive, providing you with a bountiful harvest of fresh, aromatic herbs. Nourishing Your Soil-Free Coriander, A Nutrient Guide Just like us, plants need a balanced diet to thrive. In the absence of soil, it's crucial to provide your coriander with all the essential nutrients through the nutrient solution. Coriander prefers a slightly acidic to neutral pH level, ideally between 6.0 and 6.8. Ensure your nutrient solution contains a balanced blend of macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients, iron, manganese, zinc. You can purchase pre-mixed nutrient solutions specifically formulated for coriander or other leafy greens, or you can explore creating your own custom blend. 